Hey there, what up Indy here coming with the ninth of remaking Vampire Survivors in Game Maker. So this video tutorial we will do two things which are kind of essential for the game. So some spawning radially around the player of enemies. Of course this will be preceded by another thing which we are doing, activating and deactivating instances. So let's say for example we are going out, then you've got the, you see the instance count, so the number on the top left. And then for example once we go back this number will jump dramatically up because we got stored things which have been deactivated and boom we got tons of instances <laughs> just swarming us from the get-go so this is the system which we're going to do and then if you want to join me on this part which is kind of essential then stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel of course so the first thing is show that visually what we are about to do so um first of all we need to establish what we are doing concerning deactivation and activation so just imagine uh, this white rectangle is where our viewers and of course this is going through the room because it's following the player and then we got instances with which are for example outside the view then it would make sense to deactivate them but let's say not too close to it so for example if you always deactivate then they cannot come in so you need to give them kind of a buffer room but of course if they are far too outside then hey get rid of them and of course if they are inside this plus buffer then activate them again and then the next thing which we're going to do and this is the easier part just grab the position of the player and then radially around with a random position just uh, spawn enemies around him all the time so for that just a few things which we need to establish first of all we need to have a control mechanism so we just see like hey draw gui and draw the instance number of our enemies which are present and this number is getting up and down because deactivated instances don't count as an instance itself because they're deactivated they don't do anything they are lightweight and therefore it is resource saving but of course then they're not being shown which is the point of this number here so we just see like hey we have ourselves a mini 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 culling system then the next thing is we need to loop an alarm the next one for spawning so we already did this for um, what was it for uh, depth sorting but now we have a second one which is for our alarm one so here we can copy paste that too and then we can loop it of course alarm one and this one is basically for activation plus activate plus spawning spawning here we go ah spawn and then of course we need to loop that thing so it does work and for that we have to use a function which is called instant activate region and act and deactivate later on because we want to have it both ways and then for example once we check this out in the browser so f2 on it then just uh, to understand this we need a, a starting position and then the width and the height and then we define a rectangle which is then called inside so you can uh, toggle the inside so activate all the instances which are inside and then of course you can do the negative which is outside a little bit clunky because what you do is you really deactivate or activate later on all the instances are there it doesn't really matter if, if you want to just have a specific type activated you just activate all so this is a little bit less controlled but it does work so we can just copy paste that thing in in there and it is just very quickly to to understand and not too specific we are just grabbing camera values so the starting point the uh, x and y position and then the width and the height of the camera so uh, this little neat little rectangle anchored here and then width and height and boom we got our rectangle there and then of course we need to have kind of a buffer around the camera itself let's go with i don't know 120 here they go with different kind of numbers but eh, i just want to go and make a nice little buffer around it so here x and y positions and then width and the height and then once again this is the view plus the buffer and then if you think do we want to have an inside yes because we want to activate everything which is inside to make it uh, i don't know a playable thing plus the buffer 
and then we want to have the same thing but deactivate so here deactivate and here a few things which are kind of important so let's say you move you with the camera you are down here and you deactivate <laughs> you are deactivating the the controller which is doing the spawning and deactivation also which is kind of a bummer we don't want that so therefore we need to set this new variable so this new input which we have to do the not me to one and of course set inside now because we want to outside deactivate everything so this is our idea and of course not to have the same numbers i don't know let's go with 200 or something like this 150 uh, let's go with 170 so here we can just copy paste that everywhere in so we cut a buffer in the buffer and then for example once we check it out we will see the number and then the deactivation so once again as you can see eight guys we deleted a few now we are at six five let's delete those two here two and then as you can see no instance there so we can maybe go and then we are zero and then for example once we go back we are reactivating outside of the view our three instances and this is definitely what we want to do once again play around with those numbers um, first of all how much you want to refresh that thing because this is um, of course taking some resources not the most optimal one the best one is a culling system link in the description below for that super complex by the way but if you want to manage that it is of course far superior than this small version this is of course working pretty good with a few hundred instances to a few thousand i would say but at some point it's it's not optimal just take that into consideration so we got our uh, deactivation and activation but let's have some spawning which is the second part so basically first of all we need to create an instance boom of our object enemy b the b is a little bit faster than that's why we are taking him in and then we can i don't know uh, differentiate how many times or how many of those we want to spawn here put in your own system this is then up to you and of course we need to define uh, var xx as new variables which are radially around the player so we just take the player take his x position plus and then length steer and then radially around the uh, thing for that we need a length so here you can take whatever you like but for example if we just take the uh, the properties of the room physics cameras viewport so here with a 400 so this is 400 so we can guesstimate be half of it because we are always in the center so 200 200 20 something like this so let's go with uh, 220 something ish of course here you can randomize further and then we need a direction which we can of course go and get a new one so e random range here we go and then set it to a full radius and of course we want this thing to be inside the the repeat loop so here uh, just take that into uh, to that also so but i'm gonna finish it so you see where i'm going with it so y y and then the y position so we got new y positions with a new direction with a new so here basically just we are cal calculating new positions link in the description below if you don't know what length is but basically uh, what we are doing very very quickly <laughs> Um, we're taking the player's position and then saying giving a specific direction randomly and then we are just assigning hey from a specific distance radially this point or for example if you go in direction with a distance here and this is basically what length d is giving and then we are assigning new values to uh, a random new dude and this is pretty much it so let's start the whole thing and boom what you're seeing is we got ourselves a culling system which is pretty sweet um, for example we can actually flee the enemies and then the instance count will go down of course it will go up all the time anyway and then for example once we go back the instance count should shoot up so 30 yeah as you can see and then of course this system is working pretty good so here we got everything which we needed and then in the next video tutorial we will do the well the drop down menu system 
and then we are pretty much done with this mini series and then i actually can do what i promised to do all the time so um that was it from my side have a good one one up indie